For those subscribers who've already watched the how-to on setting up a flight plan and who've seen the how not to where I messed up the altitude and hit a tree, here's a very quick walkthrough of a successful flight plan uh, including the fly through of it. So as in previous videos we go into flight plan and here's the flight plan that I've set up. If we just look into it the starting point is at point one on the screen. It flies from 50 meters altitude due southwest to a height of 85 meters. Then back northeast maintaining 85 meters. Then due northwest 80 meters before before flying back west to the starting point and landing. And if we go into the detail I'll just unlock it so I can show you. It's going to take off and you'll notice the red line along the top shows that it's recording video the whole time. At waypoint 1 it drops the view down to 22 degrees, flies to waypoint 2 where it does a 360 degree panning shot at 15 degrees per second. Then it drops the view down to 25 degrees and flies to waypoint 3 at 85 meters then to waypoint 4 at 80 meters and does another 360 degree panning shot this time at 30 degrees per second before carrying back to point 5 and landing. So here's the view through the iPhone. What I've already done now is connected the Bebop to the iPhone via a Wi-Fi extender made sure that it's calibrated, flat trimmed and very importantly that the GPS signal is nice and strong and the drone is on the ground very close to waypoint one. So I'm manually taking off. I could easily have just gone into flight plan at this stage, told it to initiate it. It would take off and fly to waypoint one. As it is, I'm just getting a few meters of altitude before going into the menu screen to find flight plan. So I'm now at 27 meters. I'm now going into flight plan and I press play on the bottom right hand corner. Going back into the free flight app, you can see that there's a picture in picture at the bottom that shows me the flight plan. That's the view you'll get on your controller. So it's now at 50 meters, it's actually 53 and it's climbing to 85 meters traveling southwest. Now as it approaches the southernmost tip of the journey, at that waypoint I've asked it to drop the camera angle down a couple of degrees and to do a 360 degree slow panning shot. I'm not sure what the condensation is on the lens. I'm not sure whether it's a bit of snow that flicked up from the props when it took off or there's a bit of moisture in the air. And on concluding the 360 degree view, it will now fly northeast. You'll notice that the camera is still facing due southwest. I could have easily in flight plan just edited it so the arrow on that waypoint is pointing in the direction the Bebop's flying. That's a very good way of getting tracking shots. It's actually looking back the way it came but I could have had it looking directly due south and I'd have a nice panning shot of those fields. So now it whips along to the next marker where it'll turn to face northwest as indicated by the arrow and fly northwest to the penultimate waypoint. It's now dropped down to 80 meters of altitude and again I've asked it to do a 360 degree panning shot. This one you'll notice is a faster rate of pan. I think it's at 30 degrees per second. And now it's flying back to the final waypoint 
where it's been programmed to drop down to 50 meters of altitude and then come into land. See there the altitude dropping. 